Hello, Libra. We are doing your beginning to mid-July reading of this current year. How are y'all doing? Good. I hope it's good anyway. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be a Thunderdome reading, but I'm just going to do a different layout. Right? Right. Uh, this side will be you. This side will be your person, and this is what will happen if you approach each other, cross watchers, or whatever. You can switch if you want to, if I think if you think I'm picking the wrong side. really doesn't matter, but this is typically like the sign I'm looking at, right? So we're going to get started on this. And always remember, kids, this is just a card game. So if it doesn't resonate with you, it's all good. So let's see what's going on with you, Libra. Got for you, oh, Temperance, you want to come together with someone and make a Megazord or do that fusion thing like they do on Dragon Ball Z. I don't know if they do it on, um, I know they definitely do it in GT, but everyone wants to disown that all of a sudden, which is like bullshit, because that's the last time I got to see Android 17, and he was my favorite character. Um, okay, so, Libra. There's something you want to come together with somebody with, or you're having patience while you're by yourself. You're pretty good by yourself. It looks like you got your money settled up, so that's good. Everything seems like it's set up for you. Um, you are ready to take some action somewhere in the past. Maybe somebody did some transgressions you feel like needs justice for, or some shit like that. I don't know. Like, you Libras are just strange-ass creatures to me. Like, so mysterious and such. Now you got the Queen of Wands. You're very impatient with it, too. I have to say. Like, there's something that you're that you're ready to go in a... Okay. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Also Sagittarius as well. Then um, there's you, Gemini, and Aquarius. Right? There is something here that... You've been waiting to come together for you, and you've been just hiding in your little cave. Like, oh, I'm just chilling. But you're ready to go into action because you lost your patience. It's just like, what? Okay, make up your mind. <laughs> uh, possibly dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Again, Pentacles, Provider, Stabilizer, Giver, not much of a Taker. Someone you're interested in. Or maybe that's you, um, producing even more. He might be the one to give you your 10th pentacle. Let's see. Ah, could be a mother figure involved with this as well. That it's hard for you to let go, you still have passion up, but you're trying to move forward from that person, I feel like. Could be like your divine woman right there. Let's see what this other person is doing on their side, Libra. What is going on with them? Half through. Oh, okay, that's cool. Uh, they are insecure. Or they have, like, very shaky foundation at the moment. I mean, you're looking over at him, and, and, like, you have passion from the past, but it's like, when you look over at him, it's, like, cold. So, I don't know. Um, they probably aren't pay, paying attention to the fact that they could turn around and see that these cups are right here. They probably don't even know it. They probably don't even recognize that there's a rose with the love. They probably think this shit's, like, isn't irreparable. Or something's going on. Like, yeah, like, something's caught up. It's like they did a grave robber thing. Like, the book that, like, the story, The Hound, like, the grave robbers robbed the casket, so the corpse and Tide hunted them until it got it back. It's kind of like that. It's like someone got, like, haunted by the corpse after they robbed it and now they're very apologetic um they might want to ride forward uh gemini libra aquarius once again they might want to run forward to you or towards you 
while you tried to run the other way? Like, you're going this direction, too. But they also have this energy, so it's kind of like... Y'all are, like, you're chasing something, and then they're chasing you. Uh, someone was a little bit too frivolous, or too into fighting, and maybe what it is that they had wished for with this person just didn't come true. Like, this love or whatever, you know? Oh. Yeah, whatever it is they were trying to work on when it came to the relationship, like, they put, it was like too much oomph, if you will. You know, cause you to be feeling like ah, I should probably separate from you. Kind of weird. All right. So what else is coming up before you next, Libra? Being really defensive, I think, towards this person and not really trying to take any action forward either. Um, I think you're done waiting for him. Honestly, you you don't want to move forward towards him, and and you don't want to go near them, um, you're trying to look at what else could benefit you, and you want to take action towards that. Um, actually take the time to meditate and think about what could come of things, but there's this lack of communication. It's almost like whatever you are getting in your head from the past, whatever you're looking at from the past, to take passionate action with. Um... It's like whatever happened with that where you were taking control, it leads you to this state of like not wanting to reach out or communicate. It's like, uh uh, you could have been a Leo or a Sag or once again a Aries you were dealing with. And it's like whatever actions that they took and now we're trying to take action with now is what's stemming you to decide, you know what, I really don't want to talk to you. Like, uh uh. Um, this person's trying to move forward from disaster. It's just following them everywhere they go. And that's why some things just aren't working out. Their burden is just beginning. Like, their bad times are just beginning. Like, they're riding up trying to look for you to stare at them with your ace of cups. And it's like, nah. It's over. It's done. And, and I think they realize this. And it's like, they won't even take a leap of faith to even try to come to you for whatever. They're trying too much to use their candle to blot out the light of the sun, but that's not going to work. And now they got snakes in their yard that they're not taking care of. Yeah, I don't, yeah, don't mess with this person. <laughs> like, just cut this person right out, Libra. No. Like, not a good idea with this person. What happens if you guys approach? Well, first off, like, you'll still be waiting, I feel like. Like, you were already done waiting, but it's like, if, if they you were to approach, it'd still be a waiting period. Um, but eventually this ter person would take action, but that's my booty card, man card. So, they, like, watch out for that. That might even be what stems you to stop waiting on this person and not take any action with them, too. Because it's like, they only call when they want something. And yeah, it's like, when you were like, much younger, you were looking at it like, oh, okay, and now it's like, you're not fitting your clothes yet, but you are starting to figure out how things work. And like, how it's been keeping you in a mental mind. Like, you're looking over at this person like, I, I've already seen you before things, and like, either they're in the mental bind, you're in the mental bind, but still a lot of insecurities between the two of you, too. judgment call here if there is a resurrection someone's definitely insecure about resurrecting things someone's just like i hope i can make this happen almost i'm not sure if it's you libra though i don't i don't think you want to because you're definitely not trying to you might even be in that vibration of like you know like you think that you're doing the right thing more than the other person is yeah like they're just trying to chase you while they're left out in the cold like this is like Someone you look at is like more of a liability than you do like somebody who can help you than anything else. That's why you're chasing somebody different and this person's chasing after you. But it's like they can't catch up with you because they're kind of a liability to themselves as well. What's the outcome? Yeah, 
okay, you know what? It's it's okay. <laughs> I just did like a video the other day on like manifestation and whatever, but it's like this person is trying to do it. Cause it's like they're looking at you and they want you, but it's like they they're not changing enough or doing enough or trying to transform anything for it to become accomplished. So it's just like you're still doing the exact same shit they were doing before. Like they're keeping an eye on you while they're doing the exact same shit. And, they, and it's almost like they're trying to like get you to come over and they're trying to look to see if it's working. It's not. Like nothing's changing from it. It's like they don't know how to do it right. You know. That's your reading Libra. So uh, thanks for watching my video. If you want a personal reading, my email is in the description box below. I don't charge, but I do take tips and donations if you so like. Like, share, subscribe if you will. Love you guys' faces. You have a good day. Bye-bye.